The world's population is growing at an incredible rate, and the challenges society faces are vast. The Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering is at the forefront of finding solutions to those challenges. We do the same kinds of things as other engineering um, disciplines do, but the systems that we deal with are living. So there are a whole lot of other factors that we have to take into account, and we have to adapt our engineering solutions to those types of changes. Our department is multifaceted. We're working uh, to basically save the world in the areas of uh, fuel and water, soil conservation, uh, we have people that are trying to uh, develop uh, better food and improve uh, food quality. So we're really hitting the major world problems right here in College Station in the Texas A&M Biological and Agricultural Engineering Department. Well, I knew I wanted to be an engineer. I hadn't really made up my mind what discipline yet, but I really liked what BAN had to offer and they welcomed me with open arms and I really appreciated that. In ag engineering, I'm going to learn how to how motor works, how in tractor works. It's very applicable over to a mechanical engineer. So it was a broader scope. In the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering, students are educated and mentored by our distinguished faculty who are involved in cutting edge, hands-on research in renewable energy, water resources, environmental quality, food processing and safety, precision agriculture, and many other related areas. One of the things that our department provides the student is hands-on experiences, and Aggie Pullers is an outlet for that. Aggie Pullers, basically what we did is we built a quarter-scale tractor from the scratch. You really got to see that you really were designing something, and you got to go through the whole process. Our students think and work globally. The Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering has numerous opportunities for our students to travel the globe and experience how others create solutions to the engineering challenges they face. I fell in love already with going abroad. I did a short stint uh, in Guatemala. I got to study a quinine plantation. Quinine is the root, uh, the, basically the bark of a tree that goes into uh, making a cure for malaria. We have a study abroad program in Leuven, Belgium. Um, that's a six-week program uh, where we take kids out and let them see how European practices differ from what you, the U.S. does in terms of environmental natural resources, water in particular, but some bioenergy type applications as well. Just to see the way people innovate in order to make their environment livable, it's really interesting to see the different solutions they come up with. The skills biological and agricultural engineers possess allow them to work across the United States and the world. Recent graduates have gone to work for General Electric, PepsiCo, Kellogg's, Halliburton, Procter & Gamble, the USDA, Schlumberger, just to name a few. Uh, the professors in our department, including me, are getting phone calls and emails from students, uh, former students, and, uh, and industry contacts that want good people. And we have a steady stream of good people coming out of our department. Biological and agricultural engineering is helping meet the needs of our population in a more sustainable fashion. It's clean air, water, and food. It's efficiency in agriculture. It's biofuels and robotics. It's the future. For over 100 years, Texas A&M's Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering has been educating students and creating real-world solutions. The department, to me, is the beginning of success. I left here with confidence, knowing that I was going to be able to get something done in industry. Clean air, clean water, abundant food, sustainable energy sources combined with my love for problem solving was all right there in one major, which was biological and agricultural engineering. The taking agriculture and mating it with science, uh, for me that's what I've wanted to do for forever, since a little kid. And uh, finding that here at Texas A&M uh, has been a rewarding experience for me. I would tell anybody at that point, if they were motivated to learn a bajillion different things, this would be the major to do it in. 
I think it's a good fit for most people because there is such a diversity in the things that we study. They would be almost guaranteed to find something they're interested in in our department. So come join the Biological and Agricultural Engineering family and impact the world.